picked up the gym and went off. Oh, he caught it. I obviously understand where I'm supposed to be at, and it's in the NBA. You know, since I got here in training camp, you know, that was probably the most uncertainty of the whole situation, was just trying to make the team. But since then, they had made it made it obvious that they wanted me to be here, and I expressed that I wanted to be here. So, you know, I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful to learn from these people who are here. Wiggins uses Chris as a screen, floats a lob, two-hand slam for Marquise Chris. It's dope, I love it. My family can come to every game, pretty much. My mom, she's been to every game since. My trainer can come down, my best friend. Uh, everybody from my family really can make their way down here. And uh, I don't feel smothered. You know, I kind of have my own space, but I'm close to home. My mom's everything. I think if it wasn't for my mom, I'd probably still be trying to play football. And you know, she keeps me grounded and keeps me humble, really. You know, she, she just makes me remember that, you know, I've earned what I what I have, but obviously it could be taken away whenever. And, you know, she just shows me how to work hard. She she worked hard for everything that she has. You know, having two kids young, but still managing to, to finish school and get her master's, I think uh, just shows me that I have to work hard for everything that I want. Obviously, it's a lot of birthdays to try to remember. Well, my family is kind of spread out though, so majority of my brothers and sisters lived in LA, but our household was full. Uh, I have two older stepsisters and my older sister. Powell runs Curry through a screen. Powell now drives on Chris, goes up and Chris says, get that garbage out of here. Knocked it away out of bounds. I got offers from other schools that might have been bigger than UW, but they were just the most committed to me. And I wanted to be an engineer, so I met with like the engineering department and it was amazing. And I was just like, this is where I want to be at. I think they just helped me become an adult. I think obviously I had a lot of growing up to do still, just leaving college so young. My coach held us accountable for everything. You know, he wasn't really one of those coaches who would cut corners or, you know, let us get away and slide by things. He he checked class almost every day, he had us in study hall, he had us make sure we were doing our homework and everything like that, you know, so just building a responsibility level that you know, I think would translate to me becoming an adult. Napier bounce pass, Bryant wasn't looking, Wiggins a steal, leads Marquise Chris, goes all the way in, two-hand slam, and we are tied, 2.35 to go. I think the whole draft process was just kind of a movie for me, I think. With the eighth pick in the 2016 NBA draft, the Sacramento Kings select Marquise Chris from the University of Washington. When I left, I was more projected like, the end of the first round, and I just worked. I think that was the biggest thing for me. I was just committed to it. I didn't go out, I didn't hang out or anything. I just worked out, went to the room, slept, did it all over again every day until the draft. And I just think people began to, to see what I was really capable of doing, you know, through the draft process. And just my name slowly started to get out there more and more and ended up in the lottery. In traffic, bounce pass, nice. no look to Chris for a duck. That was a beauty. To say the least, I mean, it's it's been a learning experience. You know, I'm thankful for every situation I've been in. Obviously, it turned out how it was supposed to for me. You know, I think God had a path for me to go down. And I just had to be in those situations in order to be the person that I am today. It helped me build my character. It helped me build uh, as a person, you know, let alone as a basketball player. You know, I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful to learn from these people who are here. You know, being in a winning situation or a winning organization, it's helped me a lot. It's given me confidence in myself. You know, having coaches who have won championships believe in you, it's just a different experience. Hi everybody, I'm Chris Alvarez from ABC7 Sports. We're at the Bayview YMCA in San Francisco. The Beyond the Baseline event sponsored by Nike and the Warriors and we're teaching kids about avenues and careers outside of sports and inside of sports. It's a whole lot of fun. Today we are hosting the Beyond the Baseline event with the awesome Warriors and Nike. This event is designed to create opportunities for youth in our community to be exposed to careers in sports that is outside of playing basketball. I think it's super important, you know, because I think fans are just as committed to the sports as we are, you know, and they invest their time and their energy in the sports, but you know, some of them aren't physically able to, to be on the court and do the things that we do. So I think being able to, to be involved without actually having to play the sport is super important.
just explaining what brand marketing is, how sport can play a, a career role for them outside of just actually physically playing the sport. We talked about product marketing, moment marketing, uh, insights, how important our consumer insights are. Um, they created a shoe and then they built a marketing plan based on that. We're here today at Chase Center for Basketball Decoded, powered by Google Cloud in partnership with Team and the Hidden Genius Project to expose young people from Oakland and San Francisco to career pathways centered on sports and technology. So far, the reaction has been what we expected. They're having a great time. The sport that they're passionate about, there's another application. Somebody who does stats or somebody who does broadcasting, you're still around the sport you're, you love, but you're not actually playing the sport. It's the next generation, you know, they're coming up. We had people ahead of us who gave back and helped us to get where we are, so I think that that's our job to give back. First, we went downstairs to like a VIP room type thing, and we played games with the iPad and coding and stuff like that. And then after that, they let us sit stand on the court. We did VR stuff with Google. We are at the Google VR station. So we're showing YouTube 360 videos and giving kind of an immersive experience, and the kids are loving it. I think they were shocked that we have a job that is behind the scenes and maybe not something they see on TV. So it was a good exposure for them to kind of see there's other jobs and other opportunities and ways to contribute off the court. I knew there were statistics jobs, but I didn't think like there was jobs like this that were like that in depth. When you actually see how they do it, it's really interesting. Without the Warriors, the Hidden Genius Project, and our other partners here today, our young folks wouldn't have these opportunities to engage and learn that I can still be around the thing that I love the most and not have to touch the court or the field. And that's what we really like about this partnership. <laughs>